Back then, we didn't have a lot of great opportunities for patients with cancer. It was probably the most frightening diagnosis you could have. Uh, these patients, all they wanted was hope. My interest uh, in medicine really began with my father. My father was a medic in World War II uh, in the Battle of Anzio, and uh, he always told me being a physician is probably the most rewarding career you could ever have. I had a very close relative, a cousin, uh, uh, who developed AML. Certainly makes a impression on you, and it was something as I got into science, I thought I could really make a difference, uh, perhaps even in this area. When I was an intern, you'd rotate between different services, and one of them was an oncology service. I found that these were the most inspiring individuals you could ever work with. Uh, these patients, all they wanted was hope. I've known Dr. Liss for almost two decades, and we're both very much interested in a very unusual type of leukemia called myelodysplastic syndromes. So Dr. List was the first person to recognize that a new group of drugs related to an old drug had efficacy in a small subset of patients with what we call MDS. So he made a major contribution by identifying a population of patients with myelodysplastic syndrome that would respond to a drug called Revlimid. That's huge. And it's literally life-saving and not just in the United States, the world. It's that kind of impact. Not only do the patients respond, over 80%, but their response duration lasted several years and some have never relapsed. We both started our careers at Arizona and we worked with each other even then in, in different projects and it was obvious that not only is he bright, and extremely bright, but he serves the patient, and he's a joy to work with. I, I don't really know of any other leader at that level that's still seeing patients one day a week, still running clinical trials, and doing the research operations. He's got a lab operation that's very vibrant, and you know, running an institute with 6,500 people in it. My experience with Revlimid, uh, to see the impact it had with patients, uh, uh, which is a great thing, but you know, it's only a start. We have a lot more work to do. Uh, it's great to have successes, uh, but it means we have a lot more to do to help the others that aren't benefiting. I've been trained and I have the, the tools to, to really make a difference, and, uh, and that's what I get excited about.